welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic, and if you're new here, let me be the first to welcome you. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and overall lifestyle, so if that is the kind of content that you are into, then I would encourage you to subscribe, share, like, definitely hit that bell notification so you won't miss a video. I typically upload every Wednesday and every Friday, but we are in the middle of Vlogmas. This is day 15, so we are a little bit over halfway I cannot believe, like even in my right mind, <laughs> that I have uploaded 15 consecutive videos since December 1st. So if this is your first time here, make sure you go down to my homepage, click that Vlogmas section, and you will see the 14 prior videos to this one. So um, if you don't do so already, also make sure you follow me on Instagram. My handle is customs underscore chic. Again, that is customs underscore chic. Why are we here today? Since everyone loves the fashion, we all love the fashion. Let me show you guys my outfit. Today's outfit, I am wearing a crew neck sweater from Target in the citron color. The brand is A New Day. I love the ridges here on the, um, the shoulder and then also on the sleeve. They also have it around the crew neck here. It's super comfortable. This is a size small. So if you're interested in the sweater, I would say to size down. I would typically be a medium, but these are nice and comfy and they are cozy, not itchy. Um, they were $20 and on sale for 30% off, so they came out to $17.50. And then I paired it with this color block Citron blush and brown skirt from BCBG Maxaria. This is really, really old. Um, it's actually like a sheer material. You can see sort of like as the panels go down, it gets lighter and lighter. There's a lining here right underneath the Citron. And then where the pink comes in, no lining. And then there's this sheer bottom in um, like this taupe color and then I paired it with my steel toe cap booties from BCBG Maxaria. These are probably available on the second hand market. They're not available in stores anymore. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. So I want to give first of all a major shout out to my girl Tasha, Black Girl SOS, Chicks with Kicks. Um, I am snobby. Happy, happy birthday. Today is your birthday. So if you are watching, love you mucho. I hope you're having an amazing time in wherever you are. <laughs> I just hope you're having an amazing time. Now that we've got that out the way, let's sit here and talk about for a second what this video is about. So we all love the great designers. We all know them, their household names. But the problem is, most of us are mispronouncing those names, right? Myself included. Also caveat, I'm only doing the names that are commonly mispronounced. I'm not gonna do like Steve Madden, Jimmy Choo, Valentino. Those roll off the tongue, right? We, are, we already know how to say those. It's super easy. Um, what's another one? Bali, actually it's Bali. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Bally, but I can see tomato, tomato, you know I'm saying Charlotte Olympia, that, that kind of rolls off the tongue. Those are easy. Um, so um, Manolo Blahnik. Okay, maybe that one's not as easy, but those are super easy and like household names. We've heard it enough times. We've been inundated with it, you know, through media, movies, Instagram, whatever, enough times that we should know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to focus on the ones that's like, hmm. How you say it? <laughs> so let's get right into it. I'm gonna go in alphabetical order just because um, it makes the most sense to do so. And then within that, you will probably hear your favorite brands, your favorite household names. So, you know, just bear along with me. I actually Googled this and there's a list of at least 35. 35 most commonly mispronounced fashion designer brands. Isn't that crazy? Like people just be walking around here just like, oh, hey, let me get that BCBG Max area. Who? Yeah, I had to learn that too. I love BCBG Max Azria, but that's not on the list. That was that one was a freebie. Okay, let's first get up on the list. Roll it. Okay, I would typically say Anna Sui, but that's not how you pronounce it. You pronounce it Anna Sui, like S W E E. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Next up, I think this one has enough like sway to it that you can kind of like phon this one is really pronounced like phonetically like you can this this one is fine it's aquazora aquazora right that rolls just right off the tongue aquazora aquazora yeah 
that one's easy. This one is a little bit harder only because sometimes I see it with an accent on the I, so people don't really know how to pronounce it, but the proper pronunciation is Azadine Alaya. Azadine Alaya, like you Alaya. <laughs> Cause some people want to say Azadine Aaliyah. Um, because you know, there's no H there, but I can see how that can trip people up. But the proper pronunciation is Azadine Alaya. Household name, Barty Gang, Cardi B already told everyone how to pronounce this one is Balenciaga. 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 This so, one, like this one's actually pretty easy. Um, but I think because it's more common, we hear about this brand a lot more. It's it's like you can't get this one wrong. If you get this one wrong, you're probably living underneath a rock. Or could care less about fashion, which is, you know, still okay. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> this is the one. Oh, I you know what's so funny is that I see the double T's in the bottega and then the one T in the Veneta, and I still can't get it right. Still can't get it right. But the proper pronunciation is Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta. Not Bottega Veneta, not Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta. Veneta. Just, you know, act like you in Rome or something. Veneta. That one's... Now that you hear it, right? It's so much like, ah, that makes sense. Bottega Veneta. Okay. We have seen this everywhere most of you probably own a pair of red bottoms have seen someone with some red bottoms you are super familiar with this one and this one is also hella french <laughs> okay so tip people would typically say christian louboutin christian louboutin it's christian louboutin christian louboutin christian louboutin that yeah that 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 that's a little challenging but trust me that is how you properly <laughs> pronounce it one thing I hate the most is going into a store and you pronounce it, let's say I go into the, you know, Christian Louboutin and then I say Christian Louboutin and the sales associate does what? Before answering your question, right? They will properly pronounce the name of the brand. It's like, okay, I, I get it. You work here, you know how to say that, but just help me out. Do you have a size 40 or not? <laughs> right? Like that's super annoying, but how to properly pronounce it is Christian Louboutin. Here's another one that can trip people up sometimes because of that accent underneath the C. Um, this is a super popular brand. I mean, it, it's a household, well, I don't know if it's a household name. I guess it depends which household you live in. But this one is pronounced Comme des Garçons. Comme des Garçons. Not Comme des Garçons, there's two M's. Let's keep that in mind. Comme des Garçons. Comme des Garçons. Okay. This one here, if you are a fan of America's Top Model, if you are a fan of Tyra Banks, she was a huge supporter of this brand. She used to wear this brand all the time. This brand has amazing, they have amazing, amazing clothes. They, they really do. They really do. I don't know where this brand is from, but this one was actually, I used to trip up on this brand also. <laughs> Um, because it's not something, it's not a, it's not words that you say all the time together, but the proper pronunciation is Dries Van Noten. Dries Van Noten. Um, that at the end, that's really like a 10. So Dries Van Noten. Dries Van Noten. See, when you say it a couple times, it just kind of rolls off the tongue. Dries Van Noten. Or 10. Dries Van Noten. There you go. Dries Van Noten. Yeah, that sounds much better. Okay, so this one I'm going to give you guys a little backstory for. We've all seen them. We've all seen those beautiful tool high low dresses. They partnered with H&M last season for their designer collaboration. Kendall or Kylie, who is who is the um model Kardashian? I want to say it's Kendall. I think it's her. But how do you properly pronounce this is Giambattista Valley. Giambattista Valley. It's so when you see it and when I say it, hopefully you're like, ah, I mean, who knows? Maybe you already knew how to pronounce all these names, but I just know these are commonly mispronounced designer brand names. So I was like, let's, let's have an educational session, you know, for myself included. Like I'm learning some of these just the same as I'm saying them out to you. But this one I knew because I was on the hunt. When I tell you I was on the hunt at my cell phone, my iPad, my regular laptop and my work laptop and I have my friend also chimed in because I wanted that red dress. I really, really wanted that tool all dress. 
tool dress oh my gosh i was so mad i didn't get it it's now on the resale market for like 500 dollars when it only retailed for like 250 but gian batista valley i want that dress still so gian batista valley that's how you pronounce it all right this one popular popular we've already seen it Givenchy. Givenchy. It's not Givenchy. It's not Givenchy. It's Givenchy. Very French. Very, you know, very stush. Givenchy. Givenchy. <laughs> I feel like my mom, like I feel <laughs> right now that moment I just got deja vu and I hear my sister-in-law Tanya telling my niece or nephew how to properly pronounce something in French. But for this here brand it's Givenchy. Next one, we've seen this all over the place. They are the maker of the super unaffordable Birkin bag, you know, but Cardi got a few, she told us, and it's simply Hermes. So if you think air and then mez, the H is silent. Like a lot of things in French, there are a lot of <laughs> vowels and consonants that are vowel. There are a lot of consonants and vowels that are silent. This one's no exception. Hermes. 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 So this one is a little bit like of an older school brand. Um, my brothers used to wear this brand a lot and I don't see it as much now. Maybe probably because I'm not paying attention to, it, attention to it and I haven't shopped it. But this is just pronounced Jean-Paul Gaultier. Jean-Paul Gaultier. Not Jean-Paul Gaultier. Not, you know, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Because <laughs> sometimes what we have the tendency to do, which is improperly so, is just pronounce things how we would say them in English and not necessarily thinking about um, where the brand is from. So I think it's, I mean, listen, it's not that big of a deal if you mispronounce a brand name, right? They're not paying you. You're the one giving them your patronage. So it doesn't really matter if you don't know how to say it. But I kind of akin it to someone mispronouncing your name. Like my last name is pretty hard to pronounce. I'm not going to say it out there because there's some crazies. But if you know me, you'd have to say it a couple of times and I tell you phonetically how to pronounce it. So that's why I think it's important to one, say the names properly. And two, if you're spending your money, nine times out of 10, these brands are not cheap. They are super expensive, right? I guess expensive is relative, but I just think like, listen, if you're gonna wear it, you might as well say it correctly. Why not? They already got your hard earned bucks, right? Or if you don't care, you don't care. It doesn't really matter. But I mean, I think there's some value in um, pronouncing it correctly. And you should just pronounce things correctly as a grown up. So. Oh, so there's that. <laughs> this one, you've probably seen it somewhere around, probably everywhere. I mean, they have ads in major publications. They have um, commercials. I've seen, you know, different ads even on my Instagram. And I used to say Lanvin. I literally just used to say Lanvin, but it's Lanvan. Lanvan. I know there's like a secret H in there somewhere, but that is how you pronounce it. Lanvan. Hey, this one. L Lowe's. Right, right. That would be like just the natural inclination, just how to say it because of Lowe's, the home, the home equipment store. But it is pronounced Loewe, Loewe, Loewe. So that W is really like a V, Loewe. This one super easy. Y'all know this one. You, we can probably say it together. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Louis Vuitton. Did you say it like that? Let's do it again. One, two, three. Louis Vuitton. Come on, sis. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> That's how you say it. I know it's it's that French thing. I'm telling you, Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. That part is like the that that's where it kind of mixes up a little bit, but that's how you say it. Louis Vuitton. The S is silent, so it's not Louis Vuitton. Louis 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 Vuitton. Every time I see this one, I'm sorry, I think dope boys. That is so bad to say, especially because... Yes, still has a home phone. Please hold. My bad, I'm back. Okay, so this is pronounced Maison Martin Margiela. Maison Martin Margiela. Maison in French is house. And that is very on brand or on par because most fashion brands 
in French, they consider themselves fashion houses, or that's how they're commonly referred to in like the fashion inner circles and the upper echelon, you know, the house of Chanel, the house of Yves Saint Laurent, the house of, the house of, the house of, the house of. So Maison Martin Margiela is the house of Martin Margiela. That's it. So this one, I typically associate with bridal wear. Um, I don't own any of their pieces, but a lot of times when I see it, I do see bridal. But this is pronounced Marquesa. Marquesa. I would typically say Marquesa or Marquesa, but it's Marquesa. Marquesa. Actually, it's a Z. That S is pronounced as a Z. So it's Marquesa. Marquesa. Ooh, this one's one of my favorites. They make the most bomb accessories. I have a pair of uh, glasses from them. As a matter of fact, let me pull those out. Let me, let me, let me pull these out. Oh my gosh, I bought these in um, Dubrovnik, which is in Croatia, and I, in love. I mean, look at this. Stupid. Like, <laughs> this, psh. Anyway, Mew Mew. You pronounce these Mew Mew. I would have said Mui Mui, Mew Mew, but it's Mew Mew. Mew Mew, like, like m-e-w yeah mew mew but i used to say mooey mooey which is no no <laughs> that's not how you say it um, this one used to be a little bit of a doozy for me when i was younger but um i attribute again my french speaking abilities to learning or <laughs> yes learning how to properly pronounce this and this is monique lulier monique lulier those double l's lulululululululul Monique Lulier. Y'all want to do it one more time? Okay. One, two, three. Monique Lulier. I know that one's not that easy. You got to let that one roll off the tongue a little bit. Just like Lulier. Mamoskino. You remember that? Okay. So I used to say Moschino. That's a, also a no no. That's not how you say that. It's Moschino. Moschino. That one's pretty easy. Once you get it, I mean, I've heard it in a couple rap songs, so we should know. But you know, after a while, you just revert back to what you <laughs> what you think it is. So you just say Moschino, but it is Moschino. Okay, this next one used to trip me up all the time. I used to say Peranza Schuler because, I mean, what else would it be? No, <laughs> that's not it. It's Peranza Schuler. Peranza Schuler. Proanza Schooler. I, that would not have been my first guess. My first guess was Proanza Schooler. Because that's how you would say school should. should, should. No. Proanza Schooler. Y'all, we are almost to the end of the list. So this next one is. How'd y'all say it? <laughs> I used to say Rokas. Because it just seems like the easiest way to say it. Like, rocas. Rocas. That's not how you say it. It is pronounced rochas. 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 So once you hear it, you see it. Easy peasy breezy. This one's easy. So, yes, that is how you pronounce it. Rochas. I was today years old <laughs> when I knew how to properly pronounce this. I've been saying rodart. This entire time, ro dart. No, no. It's ro darte. Ro darte. Where did the te come from? Like, who, how? How did, like, how? Or why, rather? I mean, not why, because we've already talked about the importance of, you know, properly pronouncing fashion designer brands. But um, yeah, that one threw me for a loop. I was like, oh, ro darte. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. All right. We've seen this. We've heard it in several rap songs. And it's Versace. Moment of silence? Okay. Have you been saying Versace? A lot of people say Versace. Um, a rapper that will forever be nameless said Versace. That's like, I was like, did he mean Versailles? Like the place in France? No, but it's Versace. So the next time someone tries to tell you that it's Versace, you tell them Jen said it's Versace. <laughs> 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 
it's Versace. I'm sorry. I mean, Versace, like we're, I get it. Maybe he was trying to make it rhyme in the song. You know, like maybe he was doing, what is that, a haiku? Yeah, maybe that's what he was doing. I don't know, but it's Versace. Okay, this one is actually a really cool brand. It's like this super androgynous, um, like grungy. I don't own anything from this brand, but I see it enough times to know that I was mispronouncing it. Actually, no, that's not true. I was always pronouncing it because it literally just, the French translation is literally clothes. So this is vêtement. 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 Um, I'm trying to think of how else it could probably be mispronounced and I'm not saying that to like take any digs at people but I'm literally because in my mind when I see the word it's written in French it's pronounced in French so that is like th that's just how I would say it um, so I'm trying to figure out maybe vitamin vitamin that maybe vitamin maybe people have been mispronouncing and saying vitamin but it's vetsman vetsman I've been super into YSL lately and um, my brother's name is Eve so from birth I've always known how to say Eve I know a lot of people or I've seen I've encountered um, with a lot of Hispanic people they say why this and I don't know if just, it's probably just because um, actually I don't know I don't know but it, it, it has been a common mispronunciation of his name when I've been with him and they would say why this but this is pronounced Yves Saint Laurent Yves Saint Laurent the T's all the T's are silent so it's not Yves Saint Laurent it's not Yves Saint Laurent it's not why this Saint Laurent it's Yves Saint Laurent Yves Saint Laurent I know it's that R again it's, it's that R it's always that R Yves Saint Laurent okay I actually honorable mention um because I just learned this a couple weeks ago and when I say she makes the best shoes actually maybe not the best shoes but she makes some great shoes how are y'all pronouncing this Amina Muwadi Amina Muwadi. Amina Muwadi. Now that you see it, I've said it, it all makes sense. It took me a little minute. <laughs> I was like, how you say that? <laughs> and I had to like really focus in on it, but it is Amina Muwadi. So that is all that I have for y'all today. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my um, fashion class designer brand pronunciation again this is not me acting like I know how to pronounce things or say things better than other people but um I thought this would be a fun activity for us to do during vlogmas because obviously I mean everybody's shopping we all shopping I'm shopping you shopping we shopping together you watch me shop um you know all of that good stuff so if there's any brands or designers that I did not talk about today that you want to learn how to properly pronounce hit me up Send me a DM on Instagram, write it down in the comments. I'll be happy to do another one of these um, or just something more educational. I think this is also very helpful on YouTube. Like, well, you know, everybody watches this for like, you know, recreational purposes. It's always fun to get a little bit of like education in there. So I appreciate y'all for watching. If you stuck around this long, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Definitely hit that bell button so you won't miss the notification. But you know what? You won't. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.